Hey guys, Haruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to shatter a sphere in Maya 2017. Alright, so let me just close this video and then we're going to maximize Maya. Um, and then we're going to go file a new scene and I don't want to save that. Okay, so before we start, we just need to make sure that bullet or the bullet effect is enabled in Maya. So to do that, go to Windows here at the top and then go to Settings and Preferences. And then go down to Plugin Manager. And then go down to Bullet Bundle and make sure that Loaded and Auto Load is selected. And then you can close that. And if it wasn't selected, you just need to restart Maya to enable Bullet. Okay, so first we're going to create our floor. So I'm going to go to Polygons and I'm going to click on a normal plane. And I'm just going to size or scale that up. Something like that should be fine and um, then we're going to bring in a sphere so on the polygons uh, just click on the sphere and we're going to move that up and you don't really want to scale this you want to go to your polysphere settings here on the side and then you want to increase the radius so i'm going to set the radius to about four and then we're going to change my subdivisions to 40 and 40 something like that should be fine okay now before we can shatter this sphere we need to delete its history so with the sphere selected i'm going to go to edit and then go to delete by type and click on history. You need to do this before you apply the shatter effect. Now here on the side, um, usually this is on modeling, just change it to effects. So you get this effects panel or uh, drop down here at the top and then go to shatter and then click on the little uh, square next to that. All right, so then we're going to go to Solid Shatter. I think usually it opens on Surface Shatter, so just make sure you click on Solid Shatter. And I want to break this into 200 pieces. So just type in 200 here where it says Shard Count. And um, then I want to deselect Triangulate Surface. Usually by default it's selected. So just untick that. And next to Original Surface, select Delete. That will basically just delete the original sphere geometry and it will only leave you with the shatter uh, or the shattered pieces. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just click on create and it takes a little while because obviously it's going to break it up into 200 little pieces. So just give it a minute and um, yeah. Okay, so that's done. As you can see, uh, you can see the little cracks in the geometry. And um, if you don't have your outliner open, just click on this button here on the side to open the outliner so we can kind of see what's going on. And I like to rename my stuff. So I'm going to rename the plane. Just double click on that and I'm going to call that floor. And the solid shatter I'm going to leave like that. That's all these pieces that we just created. All right, so now we're going to change uh, or we're going to add some dynamics to our objects. So I'm going to select the floor plane. Uh, I'm just going to make sure this is on object mode. So select the floor and um, then at the top here by bullet on the bullet tab, I'm going to click on this button, which is create a passive rigid body object. Okay, just like that. And now if you play back, nothing will happen because we need to apply some dynamics to our shattered object as well. So I'm going to stop that, um, go back, and then I'm just going to click on solid shatter here in the outliner just to select all these pieces. And then very importantly, we're going to click on this icon here at the top under bullet. So this is create a set of rigid body objects from the selection. Okay, and now basically it should have dynamic properties. So if we play this back now, you will see that the sphere will just explode and that's not really what we are going for. So I'm going to stop that and just go back to the first frame. Now, if your playback speed is not playing back at real time, you just want to go into this icon here at the bottom right, little gear and little running man and change your max playback speed to real time. Okay, just click on save and that will just give you like a real time playback in your timeline. Then I'm going to click on my bullet solver and this is where we're going to set all the dynamic settings for our shattered pieces. And then here in the top I'm going to go to solid shatter one set initial state tab. And this is where we're going to change all the settings and stuff. So um, first of all the collision shape type this is currently set to box which is wrong. I'm going to change that to hole. And now if we play back you'll see that it's a little bit different. It doesn't really explode anymore, but it's still falling apart right from the start. So I'm going to stop that, go back to the first frame, and then we see collision shape margin, which is currently set to 0.04. I'm going to change that to zero. Okay, so let's try that again. And now you can see the pieces are staying together and they break as they um, hit the floor. So I'm going to stop that. And um, then I'm just going to move my floor plane down a little bit so we've got some space to work with. Uh, let's just do that. Let's just play that back again. So as you can see, it's falling and the pieces are breaking apart and we don't want that. We only want it to break as it hits the floor. So I'm going to stop that and um, then on the bullet solver again on that solid shatter one set initial state tab, 
I'm going to go down here and we're going to add some glue to our shape. So I'm just going to enable glue shapes and let's try to see how that works. I'm just going to click play. Now they're staying together and there we go now it's shattering. Alright so that's looking pretty cool so I'm going to go back to the first frame and now we just want to add some velocity. So under this tab where you see initial velocity um, this is basically your X, Y and Z axes and we want to do it on the Y axis which is the middle number and we want to put in a negative amount because we want to force it downwards. So I'm just going to change this to minus 40 and let's see how that works. Okay that's alright let's maybe up it to minus 80. Okay, that's looking cool. And I think we need to change some more properties of the rigid attributes here. So I'm going to change the mass. I'm just going to give it a little bit of mass. And then we're going to bring the linear damping all the way down. Angular damping all the way down. Friction, you're going to maybe up that. And then this last one, the restitution, I'm going to up that to... Let's try one. Let's see how that works. Okay, that's a little bit much. I'm just going to change this restitution to 0.8. Okay, now obviously you can go ahead and play around with these rigid attributes to get like different bounce effects, etc. And that's basically how easy it is to shatter a sphere in Maya 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for new tutorials. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.